the next one is the security rules so what is the difference between the cross validation rules and security rules okay cross validation rules are chart of account specific it is across the modules and across the chart of account so you can if you use the same chart of accounts in different ledgers or different operating units different modules cross of cross validation rules will have an impact security rules are only specific to the responsibility in what scenarios you use cross validation rules and in what scenarios you use the security rules see generally cross validation rules are a kind of a top level you do not want that particular combination to be created under any responsibilities under any ledgers or under any operating units or under any sub ledgers then you go for the cross validation rules but security rules are kind of a rules wherein you create the rules and assign to something called a responsibility so that only the users who have access to that particular responsibility will have an issue but for all other users there will not be any issue so take an example there is a uh, i can give you an example like there is an account called share capital account okay or like uh, we can uh, take a pretty uh, much example of whatever we have discussed earlier which is cumulative translation adjustment account okay it is actually kind of a control account which do not want we do not want the access of the particular account to be given to any user so what we can do is we can create a security rules and assign this particular security rule to all the data entry responsibilities are accounted senior account tax accounted whatever i have discussed earlier to those kind of responsibilities and we do not put any security rule for the supervisor responsibility and supervisor is give, given to kind of a say a director or assistant director they can if they want they can do a data entry using those accounts the uh, the cumulative translation adjustment account or share capital account but the same access is not possible for the other users who have got other responsibilities other than the supervisor responsibility so you can restrict and use of a segment value at a responsibility level that is what is possible through the security rule so one of the interview questions is what is the difference between the cross validation rules and the security rule cross validation rules are global security rules are specific to the responsibility okay so now i will try to create a simple security rule okay and i'll show you the uh, what do you call the impact of that particular security rule so for creating of the security rule for the cross validation rule you need to just create the rule that's it but as far as the security rule is concerned you need to create the rule and then you need to assign the rule to a corresponding responsibility if you do not assign a security rule to any responsibility security will do not have uh, security rule will not have any impact in the system so you need to assign the security rule to one or the other responsibility in order to see the impact of that set up financials flexi fields validation security define and assign first we'll go with the define you can go with the security rule for any of the segment values so we will go with the uh, i think we'll go with the account okay i will create a rule uh, saying any naming convention i just want to use the word invalid account and message will be you are not authorized to use this account okay and as far as the rule type is concerned again you need to follow the same thing include everything from start to last so 0000 four digit to zzz and exclude what you do not want the user to use that account we do not want the user to use 33 what is our cumulative translation adjustment account 3500 okay save yeah. this okay now try to assign this uh, okay assign to a responsibility let us assume we do not want the, uh, to assign this particular uh, uh, yeah. so we do not want the user to use this particular account as of now we we have got only just a super user responsibility in an ideal world we should be assigning this particular security rule to all the data entry responsibilities except this super user just but for argument sake like we will we'll, we'll assign this particular uh, account uh, security rule to this particular responsibility and see what will happen okay so that's the rule name whatever we have created here and save this okay 
now go to the general ledger supervisor reliance inr and try to select this account 3500 and see what will happen you should be getting this error message you are not authorized to use this particular account test journal uh, 3500 right yeah you are you are not authorized to to use, to use this particular account that's the error message which you get and even if i go to the drop down also in the drop down you will not be even able to see 3500 okay now i will go back and remove the security rule and then come back to this particular screen and try to use the account so this is the rule go to assigns and we have assigned it to the responsibility right remove this from the responsibility save this you can even delete this particular security rule or you can leave it as is because at this stage it is not even assigned to any responsibility so it do not have any impact okay now you will not be getting this error message because you have removed that particular security rule from the responsibility okay uh, again the same issue we need to switch the responsibility sometimes it takes one or two minutes to take the impact okay see now it's alive Okay, you are not getting any error message. Okay, again, this is also one of uh, one of the production support issue which we have faced recently. Like, user made some changes to the cross validation rules and security rules, and immediately he was trying to uh, what do you call uh, check that it's not working because he, he he was getting the same error message, and we just waited for a couple of minutes. We switched the responsibilities and then came back to the screen and it was working. Okay. unfortunately it is how it is i mean this is how it is in oracle in lot of other cases also like sometimes even though you can see the message that transaction complete received uh, applied and saved sometimes it take couple of minutes to take the impact of the setup changes in most of the cases whenever you do a setup what we do is we switch the responsibility we switch the responsibility from current responsibility to different responsibility and again come back to the uh, the responsibility and then you can continue with the testing okay so that's the significance of the security rules